YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and check out the new Bag of Tricks Evolution card for none other than Lamine Yamal. Yamal is an 85 rated card. He has the mostly explosive acceleration type, left footed with four star skill moves and three star weak foot. Now we do see a bit of versatility with the card, which is always really nice to see. He can play the right wing, right mid, and left wing positions. And as you guys know, with Lamine Yamal, he does already have an informed card and then also the player of the month SPC. Now, the player of the month SBC was roughly 200,000 coins to complete. With the evolution costing only 50,000 coins, if you didn't complete that SBC, this would be a really nice cheap alternative. And if you guys do still have the intro to stat limits Evo, you can chain it with this bag of tricks evolution to make him even better. If we go ahead and look at his in game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is very well rounded from an attacking perspective. A very similar trend among these players is that the technical side to their game is really good, but the physical side does let them down a little bit. As you guys probably already know, we did do a play review on Elise and then also on Arda Guler. And everything is incredible from an attacking perspective, but when it comes to stamina, strength, and aggression, it is a little bit lower, so definitely keep that in mind. Now, he does have 90 pace overall with 92 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. Very good for a midfielder, but I would still recommend a chem style to make him even more quick. I love the fact that he does have the quick step play style that's going to be really effective going forward, and one of the few players on the list that actually do have the quick step play style. Down that right-hand side, the 82 shooting is going to be a huge part to his game as well, because we do need him to be very clinical and as you guys can see for the most part he does have some pretty decent shooting stats 84 attacking positioning and 83 finishing and with the finesse shot play style man i do expect him to be very clinical in game the only real letdown in terms of scoring is the fact that he does have three star weak foot so you are gonna have to force it onto his left foot a little bit more or you have to be a bit more creative in the attack now alongside scoring a lot of goals boys we also need the chance creation to be really effective so the 80 passing and 89 dribbling are gonna be two really important stats for him he does have some pretty decent passing stats if you do want to incorporate him as a playmaker the dead eye chemistry style would be a really nice option but ultimately when you go ahead and pair that with this dribbling i do expect him to be a very tricky player going forward but with this dribbling stats boys as you guys can see he does have 80 balance and then only 70 composure so i'm really hoping that that's not going to affect the card too much when using both his player of the month card and then also his informed card he was still very quick and swift on the ball but if you do want to give him a chem style to improve the balance a little bit more i do think that that would be a really good idea as well and then last but not least boys the 53 physical man i mean there's not much to say not going to be very strong on and off the ball and then he does only have 63 stamina so with Lamine Yamal man by completing this evolution I mean he can maybe last 60 70 minutes in that right mid inside forward player role or you can maybe incorporate him as a super sub the physical side to his game is going to be really interesting to test out now in terms of play styles Boise does have five different play styles he has the finesse shot technical flair trickster and quick step with the evolution he does end up getting the trickster play style and as you guys know some people really like it some people really don't but the trickster fake shot is actually really good to go ahead and use so that's a pretty good addition for the card and when it comes to player roles boys there is a bit of variety with the way that you can incorporate him in game with the evolution he does get the inside forward player role plus plus and then alongside that he does also have three player role pluses you can use him as a winger on both sides of the pitch and then also as an inside forward if you do want to run him as a right wing with this player of the month card costing roughly 200,000 coins to complete it's going to be really interesting to see whether or not this evolution for 50,000 coins is a nice cheap alternative if you guys do enjoy these fc25 player reviews and you want to see more of them on the channel definitely let me know by leaving a like turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss an upload and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is a team we're going to be using in division rivals to test out the new laminia mal card we're going to be playing him at the right mid position as that inside forward in the 442 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one using the new laminia mal evolution card and i must say i'm actually really excited to test them out as that inside forward in the 442 two formation we need him to be very clinical going forward and then also to create a lot of chances now first things first you guys know how we like to start off every play review and that is by testing out the cards dribbling now he does have really good agility the balance is a little bit lower and then also the composure so hopefully that doesn't affect the card too much but as you guys can see man on the ball he is still very quick and swift alongside that boys he does also have the technical play style and the four star skill moves so that's going to be a huge part to his game but yeah man let's see if we can maybe try to get that goal straight back from kickoff lamina mall just going to maybe try to get him in behind test out the attacking positioning a little bit more nice a little bit of left stick dribbling we'll go lb pace boost really good acceleration right there three star weak foot a decent finish i don't know about you guys man but the inside forward player role plus plus for like a left mid right mid is just so op in game let me name all a little bit of sprint speed right here up against guerrero guerrero is actually a really good card to go ahead and pick up Left stick dribbling, Laminia Mall. Maybe test out a long shot right here, a little bit further out. Ball roll finesse shot, a decent attempt. Now we can maybe test out his long range passing a little bit more. I'm going to go for a cross diagonal. 
it is a little bit central now right there my aim should have been a bit better but his passing is going to be really important now we can go ahead and carry the ball forward with yamal i'm going to do a little bit of r1 dribbling right here nice boys does keep it very close it's not too bad things you love to see i want to test out his dribbling a little bit more man as you guys know like the l2 r2 dribbling this year is actually really good as well and again man keeps it very close He's just a tricky player going for him, and his dribbling is really underrated, in my opinion. Just gonna try to hold it up a little bit right here. Keeping it very close. This guy's defending isn't anything too crazy at the moment. Step over. Nice. Three-star weak foot again. A decent attempt. Now, right here, we can go ahead and spring into a counterattack. He is pushing a lot with his fullback, so we should have a bit more space down this right-hand side. Yamal, there goes the physicality, man. Like I said, not gonna be the strongest of players. Griezmann over top. That's a lovely play, boys. Maybe even try to create the chance into uh, Lewandowski. Yamal... Still with it. Simple pass into Griezmann. That's nice. Then we go finesse shot. It's a lovely finish, boys. Lamin Yamal, that's what we need him to do. I like it, man. In that play, some decent hold up play. Really good dribbling as well. And then a simple pass into Griezmann. I'm going to maybe try to get him in behind with like a cross diagonal. So we're going to go ahead and switch the ball into Gaia. And with Gaia, we'll go cross diagonal. It is a little bit central, but it's a lovely pass, man. Great attacking position right there. Just couldn't really get it under control. Hold up. You know what, man? It might be a little bit of like his lower composure in that situation. Now, as you guys know, with the evolution, he does get the trickster playstyle. So that little fake shot, that little variation is really nice. Go for a simple shot. It's a decent finish. My opponent's defending could have been a bit better. Now, I do want to use the trickster uh, fake shot a little bit more. I just feel like in the transition, it's just so smooth. Look at that. Lamine Yamal. Trickster again. Ooh, that was clean, boys. On the volley is such a poor shot. But that little scoop over the center back was really nice. Game number two, ladies and gentlemen, is so far so good. Now, I will say for the evolution, he is a really good option in my opinion. And as you guys know, if you do have the intro to stat limits Evo available, you can chain it with this one. Lamine Yamal, just look at that, boys. Look at the dribbling right there. LB pace boost. That's nice. Three-star weak foot. We should be scoring in that situation, man. But really good run forward. The three-star weak foot, for the most part, hasn't been too bad. Like, I will say the finishing with his right foot isn't anything too crazy. But he can still score a lot of goals. I mean, Yamal, Trickster, into a power shot on the volley, three-star weak foot. I don't know what it is, man, but even if the card doesn't have the power shot playstyle, it's just so good to use either way. Now, with Yamal, he doesn't have any passing playstyles, which is a bit of a letdown for the card, but we are going to test out his passing a little bit more. Swerve pass. It's all right, man. It's all right. I feel like if you want him to be a playmaker, the dead eye would be a really good option. A little bit of tiki-taka football, boys. Let me and Yamal play back to him. We go finesse shot outside of the box. It's good, boys. It's a good finish right there. His long shots are a little bit more inconsistent, but we'll take that. I mean, Yamal just cut inside right here. A little LB pace boost. That's not too bad, boys. I mean, he is very quick in game. Reverse pass as well. Can go three-star weak foot. Test it out. It's off of the post, man. I mean, pretty pretty consistent with this three-star weak foot. Cut in. I mean, Yamal. Good acceleration. Good sprint speed. I'm just going to pass it to the back of the net. There we go, boys. That's a nice finish right there. I feel like in the final third, man, we haven't been showing too much composure in game number two, but that's a really nice finish. Now, this game might be a little bit more difficult, Scott. Nice. Yamal down the right-hand side. One more first-time pass. That's a lovely ball from Lewandowski. This is where we need the goal threat. I'm just going to go near post. Get the lucky rebound. We don't get the rebound, man. Probably should have just gone for like a finesse shot right there with that angle. All right, check me out, boys. Little goal kick tactic right here to overload the right-hand side. We did signal our fullback to make that run. Gaia. Cross diagonal. There it is. Now we signal Yamal to make that run. And now we play it to him. Liquid football right there, boys. I mean, Yamal cut in. Griezmann is making that run. We'll reverse it to him. Finesse shot. It's a lovely team play, boys. Yamal's passing a little bit inconsistent, but you can still create with him. He likes that little uh, chipped pass into his left wing, right wing. Yamal with a good interception. Great ball into Griezmann as well. Just going to go for a cutback. I mean, it's, it's nothing too crazy, boys, but we'll take it. He is involved in the play. Trickster. Four, uh, three star weak foot power shot that's good boys that's so good the trickster into the power shot in that way is actually really effective to go ahead and use and there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is us using the new yamal evolution card in a few games of division rivals and i will say a very solid player in game the technical side to his game was incredible for the start of fc 25 the physical side did lack a little bit but as that inside forward if you do want to run him as a right mid you are going to have a lot of variety with the way that you can attack with him now if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail the 90 pace was one of the standout stats in my opinion i love the fact that he does have the quick step down that right hand side he was extremely quick and i feel like he's one of the few players on the list that do actually have the quick step play style so that's a huge bonus going forward the 82 shooting for the most part was a pretty consistent stat as well the finishing in and around the box was quite accurate i love the fact that he does have the finesse shot play style definitely adds a bit more going forward and then for the most part his long shots were okay a little bit more inconsistent compared to the finishing in and around the box but if you do find yourself in a position where you can hit a long shot with him i do think that you can incorporate it from time to time the only real letdown in terms of scoring is the fact that he does have the three-star weak foot so 
in those more advanced positions, you are going to have to be a little bit more creative or you're just going to have to force it onto his left foot. Now, alongside scoring a lot of goals, he can also create a lot of chances and the 80 passing and 89 dribbling were two really important stats. Now, I will say, boys, the passing was a little bit inconsistent in game, especially in those more advanced positions. I think he can still most definitely get the job done, but he will misplace a pass or two, so definitely keep that in mind. And then with his 89 dribbling, man, despite him having a little bit lower balance and composure, he was still very quick and swift on the ball. I love the fact that he does have the technical play style, four star skill moves as well. The left stick dribbling was really nice, but the R1 dribbling was really good as well. And from an attacking point of view, I think that he's a very tricky player going forward. It's just that the physical side to his game does let him down a little bit. 63 stamina. I mean, as a right mid, he can maybe last 60, 70 minutes, and then he is in need of a super sub. And then with his 50 strength and 46 aggression, he wasn't very strong on the ball either, but he is a bit of a jammy player going forward. Overall, boys, I'm going to go ahead and give the card like an 8.6, 8.7 out of 10 rating. I really enjoyed using him at the right mid position in the 4-4-2 formation. Now, as you guys know, he does have a player of the month SBC card that is 200,000 coins to complete. Now, 200,000 coins for the SBC is a tad bit overpriced. And if you don't have the fodder and you do want a Laminia Mile special card, I do think that the evolution is a pretty good option. With the upgrades, man, you do also have the potential going forward of him actually fitting in a few more Evos throughout the year. And if you do have the intro to stat limits evolution available, you can also pair that with this one. I think with the intro to stat limits evolution, it's going to give him 85 shooting overall, which is actually a really nice bonus for the card. And yeah, man, out of all the players that you can go ahead and evolve using the new Bag of Tricks evolution, I do think that Lamin Yamal is easily a top five option. Very good on the ball. The chance creation is most definitely there. And in more advanced positions, he can definitely score a few goals as well. Four star skill moves with really nice play styles, three star weak foot and the physical side to his game being the two letdowns for the card. Now, as you guys know, we did do a player review on Arda Guler. And if I had to compare the two, I do think that Arda is just a little bit better in game. With Guler, he does have a few more play styles and then he is also four star, four star. And I feel like that that's really important from an attacking perspective. So if I had to choose between the two, I do think that Guler is a bit better in game. But Lamin Yamal, again, a fantastic option for the evolution. If you do have the coins and you didn't complete his player of the month card and you can get him on full chemistry for 50,000 coins from an attacking perspective, a very good player in game and I would definitely recommend them. But that is going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Booba and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.